Welcome then to another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and you know the drill. Let's go to the board and find out this episode's categories. Starting off with masked wrestlers, followed by same nicknames, then real names, then pay-per-view names, and finally, name that theme. All right, let's kick things off with the 200 point round. Name this masked wrestler. This brother wasn't fooling anybody. The correct answer is, who is Mr. America, which was Hulk Hogan's alter ego. All right, moving on to same nicknames for 200, Roddy Piper and Ronda Rousey share what nickname? And the correct answer is, what is Rowdy? All right, on to real names for 200. Paul Levesque is the real name of what WWE superstar? And the correct answer is, who is Triple H? Here comes pay-per-view names for 200. What pay-per-view has seen matches like Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels, and Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. And the correct answer is, what is the showcase of the immortals, the granddaddy of them all, the show of shows, WrestleMania. And closing out the 200 point round, listen to this song and name that theme. And the correct answer is Slow Chemical, Kane's entrance theme. Now that was easy enough. Hopefully you went five for five and got yourself a sweet 1,000 points. The pace is gonna pick up now with the 400 point round. Name this masked wrestler. And of course the Latin alter ego of John Cena. The correct answer is, who is Juan Cena? Si, cabron! Fiesta! Lucha! 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 Brings us to same nicknames for 400. Buddy Rogers and Ric Flair shared what nickname? And the correct answer is, what is the nature boy? <laughs> Moving on to real names for 400. Andrew Galloway is the real name of what WWE superstar? And the correct answer is, who is Drew McIntyre? On to pay-per-view names for 400. Which pay-per-view has seen matches like Kevin Nash versus Goldberg, Sting versus the Black Scorpion, and Dusty Rhodes versus Ric Flair? And the correct answer is, what is Starcade? And the final clue of the 400 point round, listen to this song and name that theme. Lucha! 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 Yes, hopefully you picked up on the Lucha part of the song, because you heard it about 12 times. The correct answer is Lucha, which is the Lucha Dragons theme song, but I also would have accepted Kalisto's because He's always doing lucha things too. Make a make a uh, a good good lucha lucha thing. God damn it. All right, ten clues down, fifteen to go, plus final jeopardy. We're hopping in to the six hundred point round. Name this masked wrestler. And the correct answer is from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. The one, the only Calgary kid. AKA the Miz's alter ego. All right, moving on to same nicknames for 600. Butch Reed and Jim Duggan shared this nickname. And the correct answer is, what is Hacksaw? Moving on, real names for 600. Michael Hickenbottom is the real name of this WWE Hall of Famer. And the correct answer is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Which brings us to pay-per-view names for 600. This pay-per-view has seen matches such as Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker, Edge versus The Undertaker, and The Undertaker versus The Undertaker. And the correct answer, what is SummerSlam, not Summerfest? And closing out the 600 point round, listen to this song and name that theme. 
And the correct answer, this is the Blue Blazers entrance theme song. All right, 15 down, 10 to go. Make sure you're keeping track of your score. And at the end of the game, be sure to leave a comment with your score so I know how you did. All right, let's go to the beginning of the 800 point round and name this masked wrestler. This one's kind of tricky. Yes, it looks like Jushin Thunder Liger. However, the correct answer is Super Liger, and that was the alter ego of one Y2J, Chris Jericho. How can we out goof each other, <laughs> right? Moving on to same nicknames for 800. Ricky Steamboat and Tatsumi Fujinami share this nickname. And the correct answer is, what is the dragon? All right, next up, real names for 800. Jonathan Good is the real name of this AEW superstar. And the correct answer, who is John Moxley? And Mox is bringing us to pay-per-view names for 800. Which pay-per-view has seen matches like John Moxley versus Orange Cassidy, John Moxley versus CM Punk, and John Moxley versus MJF? And the correct answer, what is all out? And the final clue of the 800 point round, listen to this song and name that theme. Yes, another mask luchador, this time from WCW. This is La Parca's theme song. Congratulations, you've made it to the thousand point round, which is the most difficult round in wrestling jeopardy. The steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music starts to play. Get your thinking caps on and name this masked wrestler for 1,000 points. And the correct answer, who is the spider, which was the fabulous Moolah's alter ego? This bout and new World Wrestling Federation Ladies Champion, the Spider, the Fabulous Mula. And closing out the same nicknames category, Bronson Reed and John Studd both share this nickname. And the correct answer, a fairly simple nickname, what is Big? Which brings us to the final clue of real names for 1,000 points. Mark LaMonaco is the real name of this WWE and TNA Hall of Famer and co-host of Sirius XM's Busted Open. And the correct answer, who is Bully Ray? All right, pay-per-view names for 1,000 points. We close it out with which pay-per-view saw matches such as John Cena versus Bobby Lashley, Diamond Dallas Page versus Randy Savage, and the natural Dustin Rhodes and Barry Windham versus the miracle violent connection of Dr. Death Steve Williams and Terry Bam Bam Gordy. And the correct answer we're looking for, what is the Great American Bash? And last but certainly not least, for 1,000 points, listen to this song and name that theme. Yes, these guys get my vote for the most wrestling craptastic gimmick of all time. The name of the song, What Is Fanfare Circus? And this was the entrance theme song of WCW's masked wrestlers, the Ding Dongs. Now, are you ready to possibly bet it all in Final Jeopardy? But first, let's find out the category. Worst wrestling names. Hmm. Think about that for a sec and write down your wager. All right, time's up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. This wrestler's cold-hearted character was almost named Baron Von Ruthless, Fang McFrost, or Chili McFreeze. Good luck.
This wrestler's cold-hearted character was almost named Baron Von Ruthless, Fang McFrost, or Chili McFreeze. Now in fairness, these names never actually materialize, but the fact that they were even considered is an absolute travesty. And the correct answer is, who is Stone Cold Steve Austin? The backstory, of course, he was getting ready to get rid of his ringmaster name, and he wanted to come up with a cold-hearted, ruthless, serial killer type character. So he told that to the WWE writers, and they came back with a list of names that is just absolutely horrendous. Thankfully, cooler heads prevailed, and we didn't get The Rock versus Chili McFreeze at WrestleMania 17. And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing and turning on all notifications so you can always find out when we come out with a new episode. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.